What's up, you guys? I've been getting a ton of comments wondering what's going on with these bars. People ask me, are they aftermarket? Where did I get them? Did I adjust them? You know, what's, what's the deal with these things? So today I'm gonna show you an easy trick. You can do it in under 30 minutes with a few bare essential tools. And I'm even gonna throw in a couple of secret tips to get this done nice and easy without much struggle at all. If you have been watching my YouTube channel, eventually I'm gonna be getting the Krause set up on this bike. Um, but honestly, after I made this adjustment to the bars, it's really the only thing keeping me from spending a small fortune on bars. So I definitely am still gonna go with the Krause setup. I'm gonna have a how-to video on that coming up. But for now, I'm gonna stick with my adjusted stock bars because honestly, they're comfortable, it looks good, and it's really easy to do. Without further ado, you guys, I'm gonna strap this GoPro to my head and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it step by step. So like I said, really basic tool set up here. Uh, tiny little flat head, quarter inch Allen head on a ratchet, and a star bit. We're gonna put a microfiber right there just to make sure we don't scratch up the tank. You're gonna have two screws. All right, so guys, this is a little tip. They might tell you to just try to take this piece off while this is on there. It makes it really difficult. Not only that, I think this is like a $60 piece. So we're just gonna put the key. So you're gonna, we're gonna push it down like as if you were locking the bike and you're gonna turn the key to the left. Keep that key in there and what's gonna happen here, is this whole thing's just gonna pop right out. My suggestion is you just keep that key in there, but you don't have to. I'm gonna take it out right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get this back in there. Cause right now the way it sits, if you try to put this in here, it's not gonna go all the way in. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. So you can leave the key in there if you want. Um, sometimes it might not stay and you're still gonna have to figure out how to get this thing back in there. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys how to get this back in there towards the end. So that makes this really easy to come out. You still wanna be careful, this is a delicate part. I try to get maybe a fingernail or two underneath the bottom of it and just pop it out. And there you go. At this point, you can just go ahead and pull this piece right off. Now this is where you're gonna wanna grab your little flat head. Just make sure you're, you're delicate with these little connector brackets. They will snap on you, and when they do, uh, good luck. Pop that off, just be delicate with it. This one's quite simple. You're just gonna push in on this little tab here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, once you get this off, you'll know what I mean. You just, and that one pulls out just like that. You can try to get this one off, I recommend you don't. I'm gonna show you why you don't have to because the tab, like on this one, which was facing upwards, really easy to get to, is actually underneath. So the first time I did this, I probably spent 20 minutes trying to get this piece off and uh, just wasn't fun. So we're gonna shave 20 minutes off of this and we're gonna leave it on there. You're just gonna spin this piece just like that. Sink it down in there, make sure your towel's there so you're not scratching anything up. You got full access to the four bolts that hold in your handlebars. We're gonna loosen this up. Big thing here, guys, when you're loosening these, I'd recommend keeping a hand on one of the bars. One hand on the bar, one hand on the ratchet while you're doing this because if you loosen these things up and you don't have anything holding these bars, it's gonna come crashing down, it's gonna scratch your tank, it's gonna scratch your fairing. You don't want that, right? I already got them pretty close, so we're gonna leave it like that. Now, the biggest thing here is when you're adjusting this, you're gonna put it forward, right? There's a little tab underneath here that's gonna to wanna to keep it from moving forward. You just gotta loosen up this plate just enough so you can sneak it by. Once you sneak it by, you're in the clear for that. Another thing you want to take precaution of is turning. So if I turn this thing all the way to the left, I don't want my bar so far forward that it's gonna hit my front fairing. Turn it all the way, you can see your gap here where it needs to be. That's looking pretty good right there for me. I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit so I can get a good reference point of where it needs to go. Now that you've figured out your tolerance here on your bars, you got them kind of in place, just wanna make sure that they're lined up straight. You can look in here where your harness actually runs through. You can check those gaps. I'm just gonna eye it. I can tell mine needs to go to the left a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen this up. I'm gonna keep it where it's at. You guys might have to loosen it and tighten it in a few times just to get it right, because when you move it left or right, you might change that elevation a little bit. I'm sure there's a couple of, of ways you could, you could kind of keep your reference point, but 
I mean, it's not too hard to just loosen and tighten a, a bolt while you're doing this. I'm gonna say that's pretty spot on. Now you got your bars where you want them. We're gonna tighten these bad boys up. Quick test. Yep, they're not going anywhere. Do your checks because at this point, we're just gonna start putting everything back together. I'm gonna put this bottom one in first. Real simple guys, just gonna plug right in. Same thing with this. Pops right in, good to go. You don't gotta worry about that other one. Like I said, make sure you're delicate with this piece. I like to slide it in kind of a little bit here. And then you can kind of put your finger down in there and just pop it in, done. All right, so remember what I said, you guys, if you try to put this in there right now as it sits, you're gonna have a hell of time because it's not gonna work. What you're gonna wanna do is push in this little knob, this little tab right here. You're gonna wanna push that in. You stick your key in there and then you can turn it to the left. So your key is essentially gonna sit perpendicular to your ignition switch um, past the unlock portion of this. That's how you know you did it right. That's gonna allow you to push it in all the way. So we're just gonna get this lined up. Make sure you keep your spring in there. You can kind of see in this hole how the key needs to go. Push it all the way down. It pops out. You're good to go. So real simple, you guys just want to be a little gentle doing this. Obviously don't scratch up your bars either. These don't have to be too tight. It's all plastic. You will crack that bezel. 